All right, you guys, today we're gonna talk about incrementic salary and the real deal income. This is Jen from Informatics Live, where I give you insight on informatics, healthcare, and technology. Yes. All right. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are here to talk about the actual income. This is part four of the series. Now, you have to go watch the other portions, or this one is just going to be make you happy but you're not gonna understand all the other bits and pieces that make this part work okay so watch the whole series to get a full picture of the informatic salary alrighty okay you guys let's talk numbers baby let's talk some numbers now of course there are tons of websites out there that have 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 100,000, 20,000. It can get very confusing very quickly out there. Listen, sometimes the internet can be a help. Sometimes it can cause some confusion, right? So y'all see that BLS? That means Bureau of Labor Statistics, not basic life support. <laughs> I know y'all probably was like, BLS, what? No, now you know. I want you guys to go to those type of links whenever you're looking for real numbers, okay? Now, just a disclaimer here. For that website, bls.gov, informatics specialist is still not captured in their data as clearly as I would like it, okay? So they do have some numbers, but it's not really for the field. You know, informatics is still one of those fields that's kind of like, what do you do for a living? Informatics, nerd, what? You know what I'm saying? So we'll get there when they're able to capture tons more data to collectively look at our look at our salaries and have it in the bureau. Don't check for it for ours. I did gather some data collectively just for this video. But for like nursing, nurse practitioner, for any other thing that you're researching, check that website out because that's gonna kind of hold true to what's the real deal out there. All right, let's get down to some numbers. Real, this is real time, I'm not gonna delay it. I'm not, okay, so, all right, let's start with the bedside nurses, all right? Because you have to have something to compare it to, right? Bedside nurses, Average about 51,000 to 90,000 is the average, okay, for bedside nurses out there. And the median salary, that means what people are making the most, is around $70,000 a year. Now, these are annual. That's your bedside nurses, okay? That's like 51K to 90K. Average median is 70,000. You got that in your head? That's our amazing bedside nurses. For informatics nurse specialist, drum roll, our average is around 60K to 160K. Yes, 60K to around 160K that you can make annually. And when you hear me say K, I'm talking about thousands if you're, I've gotta just be beige just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so make sure you watch the other videos so you can understand how you can get a higher ranges eventually. Experience matters too. With that amazing range, the average can be about 70 to 80K annually for an informatics nurse specialist, okay? That's the average out there, the ballpark. Now, if there are some clinical analysts, that's what they call us as well, they may make lower if they don't have a degree behind it, okay? Please watch the other videos, like I said, so you can understand what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> That's exactly why I did a whole series about this. Now, a big thing here, a lot of people are like, oh, well, what about nurse practitioner? That's like a, one of the common comparisons that people do is informatics specialist versus nurse practitioner. Completely different fields there. I, I just wanna put, like, put out there 
nurse practitioners, you know, they work with patients and doctors and they're really out there still in the field uh, doing care, one-on-one care with patients. Informatic nurse specialists may not ever touch a patient again. Okay, so go where you love. All right, just make sure you do what you, you like and you're going to be happy with. Okay, <laughs> remember that. So the average for a nurse practitioner is around 80K to 150K. Remember, I'm getting this information for the bedside nurses and nurse practitioners from the BLS.gov which is the United States of America's statistics for occupation salaries here in the USA, okay? You might work someplace else and they gonna pay you differently. And their average median is around 109K, okay? Again, the difference, you're probably like, well, why is the average for informatic specialist lower than the average for nurse practitioner? Remember what I told you in prior videos, that there are a lot of specialists out there, clinical analysts, informatics specialists, that don't have a degree, okay? They most likely won't be on the same pay scale as someone with a degree. So that's why the average is a lot lower for that income. Now, over time, I do foresee that being boosted up when more and more people are getting degrees and entering into the field. For a nurse practitioner, they have to have a degree. Like you can't go out there, I mean, maybe old school and grandmothered in, grandfathered in, whatever you want to call it. I think you still have to have a degree to practice as a nurse practitioner, okay? Like I don't think there's any way around that. So because they have that degree all the time, their average median salary is gonna be higher, if that makes sense. I hope that does. Now for informatics specialists to bring us back into this degree, I want you to remember something, okay? As always, if you become a traveler, you're gonna make more money too. That's like a little bonus tip right there. You're gonna make some more money too. There are travelers that do informatics. Yes, there are. It's pretty cool. I know informatics specialists that either travel or they work remotely in different states and they sometimes make a lot more money than the average informatics specialist. But there's always different doors open for us out there. Just remember, the informatics specialist information that I pulled is just for staff, okay? That did not include managerial, director, executive director, VP, if your hospital has some type of informatics officer, VP, and of course, CIO or CMO. If you're talking about going higher and higher up the career ladder, CMIO, CIO, or whatever IO they come up with, okay? They could actually make up to 200,000 or more thousand dollars a year, 200K a year or more because they're chief. Don't chiefs make the most money? All right, and you can get up there with a MSN or a doctorate in informatics. I'm not gonna say just a doctorate, no. You can get up there with a MSN as well, with nursing informatics, so that is awesome. If you are aiming for that 200 grand, go for it. Work your way up the ladder, make sure you be nice on the way up. <laughs> As always, this is Jen, you guys. It was awesome with this four-part series. I loved it. I hope you gained a wealth of knowledge. I hope you're walking away fully prepared to understand your salary and the future. All right. Again, as always, if you want to rock this informatics shirt or buy some other informatics products, check out the description down below and rock it with me. All right, this is Jen, informatics nurse specialist, signing off. This is part four of the series.